Hello there, my happy little viewers. Welcome to this brand new video that I decided to whip up here. My name is not Bob Ross, and I'll be your little host for today. Today, I decided to show my appreciation for colors. Colors are all beautiful and equal in my book. I will never discriminate against the color of any kind. All of them matter after all. What's that? Apparently, I can't say that. So let's just say I love colors and respect them all. I'm a very achromatically correct man. Not sure if I said that right, but I tried. Anyways, in order to show how much I lust for the beautiful feeling of colors all over my body, I decided to take a look at this happy little tier list we got here. First, we'll need to categorize all these tiers to best fit our deep-rooted feelings about these wonderful colors. We'll, of course, reserve our top tier for the best colors this beautiful little world has to offer. Something that makes us shout a joyous interjection. I decided to go with Eureka. That's precious. Then we have the colors that are wonderful and give us endless good vibes. But, you know, doesn't really make us shout. It just has us in awe-inspired silence. We don't say as much as we contemplate what we would do if we had these colors right in front of us. What our hearts would move us to act upon. Therefore, this tier is gonna be called, I'd hit that. So many layers of emotion in that phrase just fits so perfectly. Up next, we have the more moderate level of appreciation. We don't exactly have as many words or feelings about them. We feel there isn't much input we could give. Let's call this tier, not applicable, beautiful. Up next, we have our lower tiers. Now, I for one adore all colors no matter what, but this tier list forces an opinion out of me and I have to give in. So we are going to have to really name these tiers appropriately. You know, there are some colors that you don't quite have any room for on your happy little palette. You don't feel the need to use it, so you go through the entire painting sesh without it. So we're gonna call this tier non-palatable. It says it's not a word. We'll agree to disagree. And lastly, we have those colors where it not being on a palette just ain't enough. It causes such a broiling in your blood to think about it ever touching your sensitive, beautiful canvas that you just want to curse its very existence. The only way I can describe these colors to the best of my ability is happy little accidents. So we'll make that our bottom tier. Now that we have our tiers, let's take a look at our lovely colors that this website has for us, shall we? Ah yes, black. The beautiful combination of no colors whatsoever. The perfect color for shading and bringing out the fine detail of whatever bush or tree you wish to paint. Noir, as some foreigners call it. Not sure how that works, sounds nothing like black. But uh, what's that? Uh, I've been informed that black is the best color in the world and I have to agree to that sentiment. So whatever you happy little viewers want, you're just, you're gonna get it. I'll just put that in the I'd hit that tier. I'm sure the viewers will be happy. What's next? Ah, blue. The color of a pure daytime sky, where the happy little sun emits its rays across a beautiful ocean of green. Although sometimes the sky isn't quite blue. Could be pink, uh, gray, black, orange red in some apocalyptic scenarios. Associating the sky with the color blue by default is uh, quite discriminatory, and I will gladly take care of anyone who would discriminate on my program. So we're gonna take this blasphemous color and put it where it belongs, non-palatable. I would put it lower, but it's a primary color, far too powerful. I dare not provoke it, but even a powerful evil is still evil. Next, we have the color brown, Yes, the color of fresh tree trunks as they stand tall and proud amongst their hundreds of brothers and sisters. Such majestic, tall, oblong objects. Just the way they look, it's quite marvelous. You can just smell its aroma. It's- It's the color of shit! Beautiful, sweet, woodlike aroma. I would definitely hit such a color, and we'll label it as such. Next, we have the color green. Now, as you probably all know, green is a, a color I use quite often in my paintings. I paint forests a lot, and green plays a large role in trees, grass, plants, all that happy little good stuff. So I think I'll put this color in not applicable. I don't know, it's just something about it being a color of purity and youth and plant life. Something rather discriminatory about that. Next, we have quite the mysterious color. Gray. 
the color of both all the colors of the happy little spectrum, and no color of the spectrum at all. I think one of you is lying. I don't do dishonesty in this painting room. Lying leads to other things, like, like discrimination. You dare bring discrimination onto my viewers like that? You, sir, are one happy little accident, aren't you? There we go. God bless. Ooh, orange. The color of such wonderful things like oranges. I do love a good orange. Such healthy food. Sustainer of life, positivity, light energy. The color we all need in these desperate times. It can also be the color of fire. An element of our world that never discriminates. Whether you are the blackest of black, the whitest of white, or somewhere in between, you will burn under its roaring blaze. An all-inclusive color if I have ever seen one. Let's just put that right up top. Eureka indeed. Pink is up next. Pink is associated with life's most precious things. Tulips. Cherry blossoms. So many good things come from the color pink, and its soothing warmth will surely create world peace. And world peace will put a stop to responsibility. You little pansy asses are gonna let Pink tell you what to do? We live in America, and in America, we stand our ground. Pink is the coward's way out. But its hypnotic glow still tempts me from time to time. I'll meet in the middle and say, non-palatable, too good to resist, too dangerous to paint. Ah yes, it's Pink's darker cousin, purple. Don't say violet. That's offensive. Purple is such a bold and beautiful shade. A shade that I personally incorporate a lot into... Into... In... Anyways, moving on. Ah yes, we can't forget about the color white. In other words, all the colors of the spectrum join together to give pure, unadulterated light into the world. Who can go wrong with the color white? The most all-inclusive color the world has ever known. I salute you, White. You belong at the very top of the... What's that? Apparently, the viewers have strong feelings about this color, too. Well, I hate to bring shame upon you, happy little viewers. I'll be fair and put it in the happy little accident tier. Boy, does it look right at home. Huh. And now we have the color of sunshine itself. Yellow. Again, not so very inclusive, now is it? The sun ain't always yellow. That's being way too general about something so complex on this planet. But once again, its primary color shade is very intimidating. I'll, I'll have to give it the same treatment as I did blue and pray for mercy. And last but certainly not least, we have the boldest of the bold, the color red. Have I included it among my canvas much? Not really. I had no real use of it now that I think about it. Awkward indeed. I think I know where this color ought to go. At the very top. You know, my happy little viewers, I have just come to realize something. Perhaps your hero, not Bob Ross, is not all-inclusive himself. He had never used the beautiful color of red in any of his works. And that is just unfair. And I know how I feel about people who do that. And I can tell you one thing. If I have to put up with people like that, then you would all have to see that color a lot more often. Now would ya? So to ease the tension I no doubt cause with my own bigoted mind, I shall say Eureka to such a treasured color. And there you have it, my happy little viewers. Now in order to sustain a healthy lifestyle, I will go ahead and have myself a happy little orange as I say my farewells. Now if I could just peel this, Okay, peel all of it, God bless. Just peel all the skin off at once. Really careful. Fuck!